Hi everybody, it's Trisha from Hunter's Habits and today we're making a inlay card. Actually, uh, I've already made three of them and I'm going to show you how to put them together. And I used a die, but I also made something that you can cut out on your Cricut. So I'll show you that and we'll do all of that right after I give you a weather report. Can you see this? Oh, I wanted to scroll it up some. Just a second. There we go. Can you see that? It got down to 48 last night. And now these are the temperatures we're going to have for this next week. Absolutely Texas weather. So if you want variety, just move on over here to Texas. Okay, and we'll get to the card right after this. I also want to give a shout out to Ron Kruger and all of my Patreon supporters. To join Patreon, you'll see a link at the end of this video that you can key in or just do a search on, search on Patreon for Huntress Habits. Thank you again, supporters. These are the cards that we're working on. I started this card, making these cards, over a year ago, and they got put aside due to life. You know, things happened, and we move on. I didn't move on, but now I have. So, we had a video last week. We got a video this week. Maybe we can move it up to two a week, and then I'm going to shoot for three a week. Okay, so don't give up on me, guys, please. Now, the first thing I want to show you is the, there we go. This is the actual die that I used in my cuddle bug. Of course, now I'll be doing it in my Empress if I was doing it, but then I was doing it in my cuddle bug. And I cut it out five times five different colors you can see really good in this one the colors that i chose because i had halloween in mind but you could do this for fall you could do it in spring colors christmas colors whatever you wanted to do you could use glitter paper uh you could actually do it in anything that you wanted for any holiday so what I want to show you now is what I did over in Design Space. I made for my patrons at the time, and it's over there in Patreon files. And when I upload the video to Patreon, I will also add this puzzle card file so it'll be updated there for you. Now, when you open that, you don't have to go straight to make it. You can make adjustments. 
I'm doing a four by six because that's what the die is. But since now it's in design space, you can click on custom. And I do ask that when you save your file, that you go back and turn it from public to private. I appreciate that. Now, one of the things I'd like to show you, you can see all the lines going both directions. And it took a while to set it up. But I think I did this one night. You know, we're talking a year and 15 months ago. Probably at about midnight. And what I was thinking about was, how am I going to print this all at one time without having to go back and forth, change colors each time? So, when you select an item, notice how everything's grayed out up here. When you select it, the options come available to you in other, uh, in a darker color. What I would do is duplicate the original. Did it duplicate? There we go. And I would hide that one. Put it over to the side. And forget about it. That way, if you have to go back to this original, you're going to have it. You could also, since you duplicated it, you could hide it by clicking on the eye right here. And that's going to hide it for you. See how it just disappeared? But it's still there. All you have to do to get it back is to click on the eye and take that line away. Okay, there it comes back. Okay, but we're going to go ahead and hide it for right now. And then we're going to duplicate this again. So I've got to select it again. Click on duplicate. And it's taking it a few moments because there's a lot of objects in this design. Plus the fact I live in the country and everything's slow out here. They've offered us another internet service that they say is much faster, but they say their customer service is not very good. So until that improves, I'm stuck with what I've got. Okay, I'm going to move it just a little bit. And whether you're doing it in 10 colors or 5 colors, one for your base and then four filling colors. You duplicate it that many times. And I'm just going to duplicate it one more time so you can see the duplication. Okay, that's the one that got duplicated. And so what I'm going to do, since it's selected, you can see it right here. I'm going to change the color to that one just so when I go to make it, it will tell me to change the paper. Now, like I said, it's going to take just a moment to show you this, but I wanted to make it easier on you instead of having to continue over and over with, you, with each color. Then I'm going to go back and select this first one that I duplicated. Select it. And again, remember this when you've got them, this main one selected before you start duplicating. If you want to make it a 5x7 or you want to make it smaller, that's when you need to do it, before you do all these duplications. Okay, I've got the back one selected. I'm going to change that color. Let's make it green. Okay. 
And like I said, you can make this as a Christmas card. You can make it as a birthday card. Maybe the person you're giving it to likes different shades of purple. Cricut has a whole packet of purple 12 by 12 paper that you could use the different shades. So this is just a helpful hint for you if you're using the design instead of the actual die. Okay? Now, let's go back to the overhead and I'll show you how I put it together. If I can get my mouse over there. Goodness. I'm going to show this image one more time. Okay, you can see each one of these has a different background color. And then the different colors that are on the inside. When I took them out, I separated them by color into these small bowls. I think you can get like 10 of these for a dollar at Dollar Tree. They're real good for mixing paint or holding objects. And see, so we're going to put them up here so you can see them. Got the green and then the kind of goldish color. And those are the ones that we're going to use for demonstration. When you cut five different colors out, you're going to be able to have enough for five cards. And this is what I have left, is the green and the yellow. Now, something else, if you happen to have this die, you want to put an extra sheet of cardstock under that. You can see the imprint on here. For every time that I did it, it made another deeper imprint. But it helps get the pieces out. It just needed that extra. You won't need that if you do it on the Cricut through Design Space. Okay, as you can see, each little space, I took all the greens out and I put them in this little bowl. And then I took a double-sided sheet. And I believe I got these from Silhouette, on, uh, made by Silhouette, but it's sticky on both sides. And they make all different kinds, brands. And I stuck it to just a plain sheet of cardstock. You could use any color, but you're not going to be seeing that, so it really doesn't matter. You could use your scrap cardstock. And I stuck it onto the back of this, and then I stuck it onto that white sheet. So these little spaces in here are sticky. I don't have to glue anything down. So, since I'm using the yellow background, this was just for demonstration to show you that you can stick that double-sided on there and then put the white sheet on it. I think most of y'all could do that without me having to demonstrate. And on this one, I'm going to do it a little bit different just because it is, will go quicker. I'm going to fill this whole area up with my little green. You can see my authoritic cans. Okay. So I've got that done, and then I could go here, here, and here, or I could just put it in any pattern. Now, I don't want to use these because they're not going to show up on that yellow. Okay. I'll continue to use these. I don't know why I poured them out. That just makes things a little bit more difficult. Then I'll use the gray. I can go across or up and down. Go 
go any pattern that I want. This is my puzzle, my card. Now you might think about which way you're laying your card stack down, card stock down. If it's textured on one side and not the other side, if it's a cold press cardstock, it's going to be that way. So you might want to lay them all down, the, go in the same direction. Okay, I did the gray. Now I'm going to do the black. And this is what's called inlay. You don't have to worry by using that double-sided adhesive. You do not have to worry about gluing each one of these little strips. Anytime you use a die or you cut something out on your Cricut, if you want to save those pieces and cut it several times, you can do an inlaid project like this. The hint of the double-sided adhesive is the key to making it simple and fast. This is probably taking me, if I had set the timer like I meant to, you know, you think of these things ahead of time, but then once the camera's turned on. Okay, that's all I'm going to do for right now. This was just for demonstration purposes. You can do it one at a time. You could do two, like do two green, two purple, two gray, two black. It's your puzzle. Do it the way you want. Once you've completed it, you can adhere it to a cardstock of any color I've chosen white that you can pre-cut and then for this particular card once I finish it this is the design I'm putting on it it'll be another Halloween card and I'll probably raise that up like I did here where I put foam tape behind it so that it raises the pattern up. Okay, I hope that's a little idea for you to do, maybe for Christmas, or you've got another week. Let's see, it's a week and a half almost until Halloween, and you can make some cards like this and remember when you're using the images like I've used on these cards they may cost you something if you're not an access member so being an access member saves you and by being a premium access member it gets the files everything that's not licensed it gets you get 50% off of all your digitals and then on any purchases by being an access member, you get 10% off of Cricut purchases. So that in itself, just like I got the mystery box the other day, it was $39.99. I got, I was 10% uh, off. And instead of getting 10% off, I got 50% off because I was a premium. So I cut it down with tax and everything. Now, of course, there was no shipping since it was a digital mystery box. And if you haven't got that, you need to check it out. There are several videos out there for you to watch. Uh, I always recommend Melody Lane's or Ken's Creations, Laurie Noonemaker or Carol Provost. I hope I'm saying that right, Carol. I apologize if I didn't. But they all have videos for you to see the mystery box on the day that it's released. And it seems to be a very uh, profitable digit, not just digital box, not just in fonts, but in images. So remember that by being an access, it pays off. 
whether you're a regular access member or a premium. Okay, guys, I hope this gave you some hints on some more cards to make. And I will see you in the next video to get that digital file. Become a patron at patreon.com, Huntress Habits. And always remember, through all your detours in life, they're still going to lead you to your destiny. Thanks for watching, and check out some of my other videos. Maybe I won't stumble and, and uh, stutter quite as much in those. Hope you can get a good laugh out of some of them. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.